Sarian mentioned about targeting Michael Clark. I was just wondering if the three, the three gentlemen could just give us an indication of how much of a part sledging still plays in, in sport, if, if at all. You've, you've had no experience of it at all in any of your playing careers, I'm sure. Is it? No, we wouldn't have done any of that stuff. <laughs> no chance. Um, nah, nah. I'm lying. <laughs> I can't remember, actually. Just, yeah, you biff a few people and take that one and all that sort of stuff. But no, it's a long time ago. You forget. I've forgotten. But Sorry. You, I mean, you clearly target individuals in a pre-match team talk and you say, right, he is vulnerable in this area and, and we'll do a job on well, him or whatever. I do remember uh, in 89, um, Finlay Calder was a, a fellow Scotsman and he was the captain and Finlay was a bit of a nutcase in the change room just prior to going out onto the field. And he would get all the forwards together and they'd be banging their heads off uh, the lockers that are in the, the change room. And Dean Richards, who I thought was one of these big, rough, tough... English and Lions forwards, he sort of tapped Finlay on the, cor on the shoulder and said, do you mind if I go outside? I'll just stand outside while you're doing all this crash-bang wallop. And it's amazing now that that's what we did do in those days, in particular the Scots and the Irish we were pretty mad going onto the field. And nowadays you see the guys and they're, they're coming out as though they're going for a walk in the park, genuinely. And that's, I think, the difference between professional sport and amateur when you feel that you've got to make a lot of noise and get yourself psyched up. Having said that, I don't know if you've ever watched the rugby teams go through their pre-match warm-up. I mean, if we did that in our day, we would, the game would last 20 minutes. <laughs> We'd be so knackered. And I've often wondered, and genuinely I have often wondered, if they just did some stretching and all this sort of stuff, would they have to change half their team halfway through the second half? No, they'd probably be able to stay on for the whole of the game, which is what we used to do. Am I sounding like an old git? <laughs> the head banging explains a lot, though, doesn't it? <laughs> and you never banged your head against anyone. <laughs> Might have been the odd slip. <laughs> Correct. <laughs>